Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. Gonna be playing and commentating live here on the North America Master League ladder. Not enough minerals. Back to NA, done my EU run. Actually ended up at a Not enough minerals. top 10 in Not my EU division. Minerals. So my MMR was Not actually higher there minerals. than it was here. Which is kind of funny given all the region hate that's out there for North America. Not enough minerals. But with that said, we have a Zerg here, so we're going to go, be going for the Mass SCB Raven build. Ready. And I sent that SCB out too early. Whoops, a daisy. What's going on? It's your... SCB ready. Not enough minerals. Big job, huh? Not enough minerals. SCB ready. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Okay, this guy is going to be building my engineering bay. SCB ready. Oops. Uh, supply capped anyways. Huh? Bad news. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. SCB ready. Yeah, yeah. 13, 14. Not enough minerals. 15. Not enough minerals. 16. Not enough minerals. Oh no! Don't think that's close enough. <sighs> Trying to kill that 16th SCV and I botched it. SCVs are under attack. In the rear with the gear. Yeah, whatever. Huh? Yep, Base SCV is under ready. attack. We hear you. What's going on? Ah, you scared me. Not enough minerals. Big job, huh? Bad news. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. SCB ready. In the rear. SCB ready. Base is under attack. Big job, huh? Ready. Additional supply depots required. Base is under Not attack. Enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. There's the links finally. Base is Not under attack. Minerals. Insufficient Vespine gas. Upgrade complete. Orlings, he sent his drone back, right? So it looks like he's staying on two hatches for a while. So it could be something aggressive coming. By the number. What's going on? Will do. Yeah, 
Easy peasy. So, I guess one thing I want to point out. Replay saved. Um, is to always remember when you kill a unit or a structure that your opponent still has vision of your units in the area for like a couple seconds. Um, you don't get to see new structures being placed during that time, but you do get to see the movement of those units like after units. So like after this Inge Bay dies, I'm able to see what his units are doing in this area for like one or two seconds. So unfortunately I, I botched that. Um, so that's going to apply right here. So I'm doing my normal whatever, you know, Fortress Fast Expand. He comes and clears his tower. But he has a drone and lings. And often the reason you keep the drone there is because the drone's going to take the hatchery. But he decides not to take this hatchery. And just sends the drone back and goes all in. If we go back and check out my vision. Base is under attack. Upgrade complete. See, I can see that drone move back to his base. Now, I can't see him throw down a hatch, but if I see the drone move here and then disappear, <laughs> or even just move here, like that's enough of an indicator for me that, hey, I'm going to be taking this hatch. And that's why he should have put his drone here, waited a couple seconds, and then moved this guy back. And you notice I always do the same thing when um, I do my faint push. So when I the point of pushing out with like these marines and SCVs is to force out things that aren't drones, so I come and I do my feint. Now oftentimes if he has this one ling in the front here, I'll kill the ling, and then I'll keep moving forward to like say here, and then I'll retreat back. So I'll, from his vision he'll see me kill the ling, and you'll see that I'm continuing to move forward with SCVs. So that that's the trick, and then I move back and, and get in a def defensive spot and just hope that he built a bunch of zerglings during that time or a spine crawler or something. Um, yeah, so he didn't know do that, so I know an all, I, well, I don't know, but I'm guessing an all-in's coming, because it looks like it's working off of two hatcheries. Doesn't mean an all-in's coming, sometimes they don't feel safe going straight to three hatch when they don't know what I'm up to. I mean, they should, if they scouted a PF, which I'm not sure if this guy has or not. Yeah, he has. Sure, just kept stacking. Although I know I did save a a marine, so that's good. So here he comes. I really expect him to wrap around this way to try to kill SCVs, but he didn't. So I was, tr I was going to grab the SCVs, and instead I had to switch very late to uh, taking control of the PF. Once you get control of the PF, just target the middle bailing like that. Boom! I did get my depot down. So I lost a little bit there, but uh, 200 bucks. But he's still making links, and I, I like kind of a poorly executed all in, I guess. He's got another inject. It's very late. Oh, did he cancel that? Why would you cancel a second hatch for going all in? I mean, that makes sense for other races, but don't you need the larva to actually spend your money? I think that's why he had this $1,000 float. Did not notice that. When did he do this? It's a double gas spawning pool. Cancelled. Didn't know I, I, I expanded. Now he does, but. So he cancelled and he got like that 200 minerals back, but I don't think he'll ever be able to spend through it. Not with one queen and injecting one hatchery. Yeah, this this money's never going to dip low. So this is like a reactive all-in, something he's not comfortable with. 
and you failed at it pretty hard. Like, even just let this hatchet complete and build nothing here, just use the larva to make more lings. I mean, that's like an extra, you know, 300 bucks of lings you could have, and that would help, really help spend through this stuff. I mean, three, next 300 bucks of lings for this attack, I would say. You know, start with three larva, generate three larva. I don't think it would have really mattered. I mean, had he been able to spend all this money on links and bailings, it just means, you know, he would have lost more money trying to do some damage here. Like, either he wraps around this way with the bailings, maybe gets a few SCV kills as I'm pulling away, but doesn't kill anything structure wise, or he tries to blow through this barracks or the these two structures and um, digs away to this high ground here, but then he'll never get through this wall up top. He won't have enough bailings. Oh, I don't have a high ground marine this time, though. So that could be a little annoying, but I can still produce marines from the low ground and use the PF to cover them as I poke up here to shoot at stuff. And obviously I can repair this wall from the inside. Anywho, with that, that was a quick game. We'll call it the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check the description for a thumbs up link, and goodbye.